All right, crew members, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode, another mukbang, another recipe video. All right, today, guys, we're going to be making tacos de alambre. Uh, this is like a Mexican-style one-pot taco dish which uses pretty much what you have in your kitchen. Um, but, you know, a lot of recipes call for bacon, chorizo, and steak. So I started out by um, dicing up my veggies, which I use uh, tri-color bell peppers and some onions, and then I sliced up um, my bacon and my ribeye. This is thin sliced ribeye steak, perfect for this recipe. Um, I sliced it up, and just like this, um, kind of like medium size, not too big of a uh, piece, and then I um, went ahead and made my green salsa. So I started out with uh, oil in the pan, waited until it got kind of hot, and then I added in my tomatillos, about seven of those, seven or eight of those, y'all. And then I added in some um, uh, yellow onion as well that I just quartered up. No need for me to uh, dice it up into small pieces. Just wanted to really get some color on those. And um, yeah, guys, once I got them to the uh, uh, color that I wanted, you know, a little darker, make sure they were kind of cooked through. Um, for the most part, I uh, added in some water in the pan, y'all. Um, just like this, goes crazy at first, so I just cut that out. So um, once it, uh, I have the water in there, I added a little bit of chicken bouillon, it's uh, herbot. Then I added in some red pepper flake, added in some ancho chili powder, and then I added in some jalapeno paste. This is just ground jalapenos, y'all. The jalapenos in the grocery store were terrible absolutely terrible so i had to use what i had to use and then i went in with some cilantro lime pepper salt and then added a little bit of lime juice behind that just got those stirred up covered it up let it cook for probably another five to eight minutes it wasn't that long because for the most part uh they cooked when i um uh fried them at the beginning just kind of got everything cooked now once it's like this I'm gonna add it to my blender. So um, you don't really need a high power blender for this because everything is fairly soft. Added in my tomatillos kind of separately just so it didn't splash back at me. And um, <clears throat> then I poured everything else over into the blender. Once I got everything in there, I added some cilantro. You can use fresh cilantro if you like. Of course, um, an authentic recipe would call for fresh cilantro. I use the kind of dry cilantro that is in the produce section just because it has a milder taste because I'm not a big cilantro fan. That's what the salsa looks like once it's blended up. Um, just blend it to the smooth. And then um, I have a extremely hot pan and I'm going in with my ribeye, you know, um, to get my uh, alambre started. So um, yeah, I got my ribeye. I didn't have it in the pan for probably about a minute and a half, two minutes. Just wanted to get some color on that and then get it right out. After that, I put my chorizo right in that same pan and um, right here, I'm just breaking it up really good. I want it really fine. You can do yours however you want to. You don't have to have it fine. That's just what I did. So right here, I'm trying to get my chorizo out with uh, without taking or taking as little of oil out of the pan as possible, just because I don't want it sitting in a bunch of grease. And then secondly, I'm going to add my bacon to that uh, chorizo grease. And then they're going to kind of um, not only is it going to cook the bacon, but it's going to render out the bacon fat and it's going to kind of make like a combination type of bacon chorizo greasy oil which i'm going to cook my veggies in so once my bacon is crispy like i like it just like this it is very crispy i'm going to go ahead and take it out the pan and i'm going to leave that oil behind now that's a lot of grease so i did drain some off and um once i had a few uh tablespoons i uh, added all my veggies in i have good amount of veggies so I did use a few tablespoons uh, you can use a little less if you like or you can use a total of different oil it's up to you um, I want my veggies to cook down because I really want them to kind of melt in your mouth so um, I just get them in the pan for a little bit <clears throat> not really getting a sear on them to start with I want to cover them up let them cook for about four minutes just like that the bottom uh, is gonna have uh, some color on it and then all the uh, steam from them is gonna soften them up and then this is when I'm just gonna start the process of, you know, really uh, getting the color that I want to. But I want them to cook first. I want them to actually soften up. And then once they're this consistency, this color, this uh, texture, I'm gonna add in a little bit of taco seasoning. Then I'm gonna add in some water. Not much water at all, literally less than half a cup of water. I don't even think I use half a cup, probably a quarter cup at most. 
um, I'm adding in, and that's just so I can really just kind of like develop um, kind of a little bit of a paste and just to keep moisture in there. After I do that, I'm gonna add all three of my meats back in. That's the bacon, the chorizo, and that ribeye steak. <clears throat> Once it's in the pan, look at that, y'all. Ooh, fire. Once it's in the pan, I'm gonna mix all that together like so. You know what I'm saying? Just really trying to incorporate everything together. You also turn down your heat. You don't want it to pan too hot at this point. Just turn it all the way down to about a two. If you have a glass top, if you have a, a glass top or gas, you want to turn it about all the way down. If you have a, a burner, you can probably keep it around uh, medium low. Then, once this, everything is all incorporated, I'm going to add in my cheeses. If you want to be authentic, you can add in Oaxaca cheese. I am adding in some uh, mozzarella cheese and some quesadilla cheese because I like the meltiness of the quesadilla cheese and I like the stringiness of the mozzarella cheese. That's what I'm doing because this is my recipe. This is what I want to do. This is my way. After I do that, I reduced all the heat down like I told you and I let it just simmer with the lid on for probably about eight minutes or so. And that is going to get that cheese all melty. This is the end result, y'all. This was absolutely this delicious, absolutely fire. I suggest you try this next Taco Tuesday, y'all. See you in the muck. Bang. You ain't going to keep hitting the same food four times a day and you get then go cheat. Right. Because that's just sir. You must be Thanos. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're Thanos because I am. You have all the rings in your you got all the jewels. And you got the infinity stones. Every last one of them in your body. Because ain't no way you over here having sex with your wife four times then go out here and cheat. Okay? You, uh, you over here you taking this stone out. The, the time stone and let me reverse. <laughs> I'm, I wasn't as tired. Let me I'm let me a, reverse and go before the four times to go cheat. Because now. And they got the ping stone. Honey, that's this. <laughs> got all the colors in it. The kidney know. stone. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny with hashtag. 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 Hashtag the canoes. CCTV. Hi right, everybody, welcome back to our eating show. Yeah. Today, crew members, we back with another boot bong game. Baby, tell me what we're eating today. So y'all, today we got tacos de el hombre. We got some tortillas on the side, and AJ has some various sauces out, and he also made salsa verde. And then we got some, some little party favors. Some margaritas. Yes. <laughs> Margarita. Uh -uh. All right, y'all, so yeah, tacos de el hombre is what we're gonna be eating today. They uh, homemade, uh, this is homemade, I made this. Took some liberties, y'all. Go ahead and take the lid off there so y'all can see real good with that little light right there. What's that little light right there? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. So. If this is your very first time on the channel, please, 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 please hit that subscribe button, y'all. Turn your notifications on. Set your bell to all so you'll be notified every single time. Can't trust some heat. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. And remember, hit that like button, y'all. It really helps us, y'all. And remember, remember, hashtag grow, baby, grow, because we growing. We on the road to 100K, y'all. If you're new here, welcome. Been here, welcome. Time to eat. Go ahead and pray so we can get in. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to bless this food. Let it be nursed out by us and bless us so that's fortunate. All these things we have to say in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So let me just bring that back a little bit. Before we get into it, we're going to take a little shot, though. Mm -hmm. 50 million is good because we're going to get this in the glass, so we're going to go ahead and take it. What? You bitch, wrong. What's wrong? That. <laughs> what, the margarita? Yeah, maybe it's just the salt in the room. Mm. Ready? Yes. Mm-mm. God damn! Mm. Ooh -wee. That was more liquid than I anticipated. All right, so we got some, uh, Tortillas, we got some uh, regular ones. These are like street taco size. We got some regular ones, and we have some sun-dried tomato that I saw. I just wanted to try them out, so uh, I'm just grab a couple of each. You know what I'm saying? I'll just wait for you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so I hope y'all doing all right. 
trying to be a little bit more, uh, yeah, some more videos. I know y'all, we've been slacking and missing, but <laughs> this is a busy year for us. So, um, and, uh, yeah, so, traditional tacos del hombre. You eat it right out the pan. This shit is smoking, though. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm scared. So I'm going to try. Let me get a regular right one first. <laughs> and then you just go in like this. And you get that up. Put some of these salsa verde on there. Y'all, this is homemade. Yeah, that's good. Well, sure. Can I see a little salad cream? Yeah. I eat it so first. That's good. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> see that? Let me see that there. Mm -mm. Let me see that there. This is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. That's good right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All that little cheese and them peppers. Okay. <laughs> These are addictive too. I think I got a little Mexican in. I think somebody. <laughs> the reason I say that is because Mexican flavors are what agree most with my palate. <laughs> Look at that, that's a big one. That's gonna be a fat one right there. Look at that. Mm -mm. Oh, drop it. Look at that. Oh, snap. Shit, oh, wait. My crazy stuff. What happened? I done put this sour cream and I don't want to put it in the meat. Thank you. You can dip it out too if you want to. Okay. Might get a little messy, y'all. Mm hmm. Mm. I think I'm enjoying picking it out the pot. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So the steak, mm. the steak chorizo bacon in here, along with uh. bell pepper and onion and it's so crazy because mm -hmm. you just taste meat mm -hmm. good meat you don't know what's what <laughs> you don't know like not good meat for real mm. you like the uh, tomato ones? yeah they're really good yeah i did I like them. Y'all was in the store and we picked them up. AJ was here talking about he was going to throw them on the floor if they weren't good. If they weren't, throw, if they weren't good, I was going <laughs> to smack them right to the ground. Then y'all wanted to try this. Uh, also, y'all, yeah, this uh, chipotle lime yes, uh, crema from uh, Kinder's. Um, they have a new line of sauces we just saw in the store. And I really like this brand as far as their seasonings go. So, I was like, why not? I'm trying that chicken sauce. Huh? I'm trying that chicken sauce mix. I know what I they're know. talking about. 
Ooh. Ah, shit. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let me see. I gotta do a little piece first. Some. Okay, I gotta do the piece first. Mm -mm. I'm gonna set my taco. Thank you. And with that sauce severity, we can turn this heating board off. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to sit this down. We keep I'm just passing it back, passing mm -hmm. it back. Why was that one so hot? All right, oh. Because if you, I did that earlier, and you probably ain't even see me. Were you near the close to the bottom of the pan? That's the worst place. <laughs> God damn. I just did that Not a little my earlier. Eyes water. Mm -mm. I said it's hot. I kept moving it around my mouth. <laughs> mm -mm. But as much as I talk about like my mama stuff. I think I'm getting my like What? I'm starting to prefer my food blazing hot. Hot. Mm hmm. What's up? It tastes better. This is actually what we're talking about today. Which foods would you be okay with eating cold? And which ones do you absolutely like now? Nowadays, it ain't too many I'm okay with eating cold. Just because right. I done had too many unfortunate <laughs> experiences here lately. And, uh,. Damn, this sauce is so good. God, oh man, this shit good. But before we get into these foods, I just wanted to ask y'all if y'all believe that Scottie Pippen was really having sex with his wife four times a day for the 23 years they was together. Personally, no, I do not think so. Unless she lick your pee pee in between, I don't know. Big cap. <laughs> and she lick your pee pee in between. Big cap. What does she consider sex what, to be? What is it? Because I. The reason I say that because. If we're getting other holes involved, <laughs> then okay, maybe. But still. Well, I don't know, man. <laughs> Cause I'm talking about me, or just on his end. I don't even, you know, you know what I'm saying. I can't speak for a woman, and um, I would say <laughs> I'm about to go somewhere. Day you don't want me to go, but okay. So <laughs> if you're a family member, you might want to. Uh, ah! And if you hear something you don't want to hear, that's your fault. Ah! I told you, cause I told you, cause I told you. Mm -mm. All right. So, um, you know, I wouldn't speak about, I mean, there's no need for me to speak about any past relationships, past girlfriends, whatever. At one point, me and Danielle were first together and we were around each other. Whenever we were around each other, it was on, like hot butter popcorn. Uh -uh. Every opportunity we get, you know, we'd, 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 we'd smack it, smack it, smack it, flip it, rub it. Then we'd leave, go get something to eat. we come back before we even eat. Smack it, flip it, rub it. <laughs> We no eat, rubbing. we eat, smack it, flip it, rub it. Go to sleep, smack it, wake up, smack it, flip it, rub it. Oh my God. Wake up in the middle of the night, smack it, flip it, rub it. And uh -huh. I mean, it was a lot. It was a lot. And we messed around <laughs> and we um, was with each other for about a week one time. Cause you know, it was only a couple days at a time cause mm -hmm. at this point we weren't living in the same area. So we messed, we were messing around with each other for a week. By the end of the week, I mean, I was hurt. She was hurt. I don't even know how we both figured out each other was hurting. I think I think I might have I think I might have said something like, I, right? <laughs> and she was like, "Yeah, it's me too." Thank you, like, God, for saying something. Cause too much friction. Mm -mm. Too much friction. It get raw down there. Now I say I don't know what kind of what kind of. Maybe she got super coochie. I don't know. But I don't know what kind of lube they was using. Something that was making trash. a protective shield. Mm -hmm. I said, but four times a day, every day for twenty three years, cap. That's, That's a, a lot. That's a whole lot. Like I said, are you are you licking pee pee? What <clears throat> are you considering to be sex? And I'm like, like they was uh, Kevin and Angel were saying, this man plays basketball. What is you waiting at the hotel when he get off? Like, 
Right. Or get done. And that was early 20s, too. Like, mm -hmm. now, I don't know about even that, if girl. I was a super athletic still, I don't know about that, girl. Four times a day, every day, that just that just seems so. In the comments, let me know. <laughs> is y'all from young to old, middle age, whatever, whatever age you are, is there a point in your life or is it right now? Is you, is you having sex four times a day, uh, every day? Are you having sex every day, period? Are you four times a day? If you would have just said every day, I might would have believed. Am, but, but four times a day, first of all, even for a guy, and I'm and it ain't just personal. I don't know if it's personal, but you know what I'm saying? You with your friends, y'all talk. Four times a day, bruh. Mm -mm. <laughs> once you And then once, once it's you got act, it's gotta be just the act. Because not just the act. Because once you once you bust once I twice like, uh-uh. Well, all right. You don't even want to no more. You just want to play the game, do something fun. Not you play know, the game. Do something fun, go out, watch, you know, oh go, go. Girl. You know what I'm saying? Maybe even go, you know, you twice, three times. Yeah, yeah. Girl, once you, you once you done depleted yourself, you don't, the, the actual wanting is the problem. Right. You know, it, it, the ability ain't the problem for me. It's the wanting to. You got to be wanting to. Like, I know women for the most part, I could be wrong, but y'all could be more on the side of, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can have, uh, the y'all can go probably more, you know what I'm saying? Want to go more, you know what I'm saying? Naturally, y'all can want to, you know, y'all might want to just keep on, keep on, keep on, you know what I'm saying? Depending on the actual person. But for guys, I think once we done, once she done, <laughs> once she done, <laughs> Uh, Not a couple times. I mean, what? I ain't got nothing left. I don't care. <laughs> you no. <know. laughs> the fact of her adding the twenty three years, I'm like twenty three times four carry the one. You get tired. You get. Ah, I can't. Much. If I eat chicken every day, I'm get sick of. <laughs> you I get. Do. You get tired of anything, and sex can get tiring. So I'm like, did she mix the days up? Did she? Do you know how you say something and then you don't mean it that way? Even for a sex you addict, just go with it. You right? get That's tired what of I'm anything. Saying, like, you get. I just don't want to. I can't even see. And then it made me want to look up because I feel like he was one of the people that cheated. I want to look it up. I might be wrong, but I feel like when we was watching that little documentary with Michael Jordan or something, I feel like he was one of the folks that was going out at night. So I'm like, you still having time to? To do that after uh, the game, coochie, and you her look, coochie look like a she got soup coochie. It's like a camel jaw. Super, <laughs> super coochie, like, super coochie. It's gotta be like this. She got four times a day, twenty three years. That thing is that thing is hanging. And it, <laughs> don't she got children too? Huh? I believe she got children too. But what? I know that thing dry. It's <laughs> dry. What in the world? That's dry. I just don't. Uh... Dry. Because anytime that, you know, a woman has intercourse anyway, it throws her pH balance off. So I dry. I just want to see. Dry. Is, okay, okay. Forget the sex. Uh-uh. Forget the sex. Tell me what it is besides eating, because you eat three times a day. Most people if who eat breakfast, lunch, dinner. Besides food, is there anything, anything in your life that you want to do or uh, consume or whatever it is, four times, times a day? No. Is there anything? Tell me. And I love noodles. I ain't about to eat them four, four times, times a day. Four times a day. Is there anything that you can I do eat them every day. four times a day that you look forward to doing no. four times a day? No. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking no. about a session. Don't, tell, don't, don't say working out. Because, I mean, sometimes when I was addicted to exercise, and I think I was addicted, I think I, it was a healthy addiction, <laughs> but I think I only was still, even the most strenuous workout sessions or the light, if, even if I went light, I was only trying to go probably twice, three times at the most. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and that's not every day because eventually your body's going to get tired, you get worn down, you can't do it no more. You're just wow. like, I need a break. What is there going to be four times a day, every day that you want to do? <laughs> not a damn thing. <laughs> That does not what make sense. What are you sense. doing it? She was lying. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing it? Now, I'm not going to say, like, if she had said, like, it, we had sex excessively for 23 years, I'd have been like, okay. 
But at some point, this man has to be tired. He is an NBA player. And I'm going to give you that. And I'm he still got to be tired. Like, I, I, I would give her the excessive. Got to. And I would still. Yeah, because he. And I would still trash. be kind of a little bit cap. You know what I'm saying? Because people, you know what I'm saying? Every now and then, people need a break. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Even if I say excessive. But I would give you excessive. But you're going to get specific. I'm just like, I don't know how she, unless she in her phone and her notes. One, two, <laughs> Every year, one, two, three, four. That's not making sense. One, to two, three. I don't know. Big cap, baby. Did she get a mommy makeover? Because that coochie is done. That coochie is. It's for real. That coochie look like a cheese pool. <laughs> hey, dang. That coochie look like, you know, that little thing that chickens be having. It look, look, what is that? The gobble, the throat. Mm-hmm. I said the gobble. Whatever. One of them is. It look like an Arby's roast beef uh-uh. sandwich. That thing is toe down. I think she would cap it. She had to be. Cause girl. Come on now. Girl. Like I said, that week girl. took me out. And I'm not, and that's not even. I'm, I'm that's not, you. I wouldn't even have said that out loud. That's beyond Danielle. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's with Danielle. I'm, I'm not gonna put myself out there like that, but I'm just saying, like in general, you know, as a young, as a young man, whatever, whatever. Once you become sexually active, a lot of times, just depending on who you are, you do what you do. Even in my twenties, you know what I'm saying. I couldn't. I, I feel like at at the most. I mean, there was always some kind of break in between then. <laughs> Always like some kind of. Yeah. I ain't gonna say I'm 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 everybody every super nigga nothing like that. But I'm just saying there was always some kind of break in between there. Even to my uh even to like I want like Eric Benet, sex addict. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, <laughs> you know. Which, hey, and then when you talk about another, let us know. But I don't. I just don't think that that was what was happening. Hey, hey. I I think I want her. To, I want her. I want another interview, and I need her to. <laughs> I want her to define your diary out. <laughs> define, define sex. What does that mean to you? I want that definition. I also want her to. I think what happened, like I said earlier, you know how you say something, and then she's on TV. You say something, and you be like, "Well, I didn't mean it that way." And instead of reneging, you just go with it. I think that might have happened to her. Like I think. I think maybe she meant four years every day. We need to hear from him. I'm about to look up if that man cheated. Because if he cheated, she's really cap Indian. I'm going to look it up. Right, because you ain't going to keep hitting the same future four times a day. And you get get then go cheat. Right. Because that's just, sir, you must be Thanos. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) You're Thanos because I am. You have all the rings in your (laughs) hand. And you got the infinity stones. Every last one of them in your because ain't no way you over here having sex with your wife four times then go out here and cheat. Okay? You he over here he taking this stone out the, the, the time stone and let me reverse. <laughs> I'm, I wasn't as tired. Let me I'm let me a, reverse and go before the four times to go cheat because now. They got the ping stone. Honey, that's this. They got all the colors in it. The kidney stone. That's probably what he had. Oh, wait. What the hell? She lying. I'm finna look deep. She lying. She lying. She lying. No, she lying. She lying. She lying. I'm gonna look deeper. That's hilarious. He is. Also, before we go, because I don't know how long we've been up here, but anyway, um, if y'all have not seen Thousand Pound Sisters, I want y'all. Just go to the episode. Yes, I'm silly. Just go to the episode Uh where Tammy is getting married. And if you want to, go halfway. If you don't want to watch the whole thing, I suggest you do. But anyway, AJ and I are sitting on the couch. We a little special. You know what special means. And we sitting on the couch. And this lady goes, (laughs) here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. All dressed in white. And we was like, what is that, girl? It's just the fact that. She said that out like during the like, middle. No, of no, it. she said it out like she gon' cause girl. Okay, first of all, she getting wheeled in. <laughs> AJ, she ain't, she ain't even walking down the aisle. She yeah. getting wheeled in, and you know there's no music. Mm-mm, not one piece. That would have been all right. Not but she one gonna piece sit there and say that as if you know she's the oh, music. I had tears in my eyes. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. Then it was over there crying because we were high. Yes. <laughs> Like I told AJ, what I had thought was, 
because I know sometimes when I'm like that, I'll drift, but I'm still watching, but I'm drifting. So I was looking and I'm seeing this whole wedding. I'm seeing her wheel. Then I hear that because I'm thinking we're going to her confessional. No, this lady said it during the <coughs> wedding. I said, bitch. You ought to know better than doing that. <laughs> then got up there. Go I think, because I, I, I know I was over there chilling. I was watching, but I was chilling. And then she said, here comes the bride. Here comes oh, the bride. That was, I was so dressed in white. And I was like. What's the hell? <laughs> and then I was, I was like, like, I can't. I said, did she just. I was said, crying. The, <laughs> I was like, she just, just shut up. Like, what? Well, that was funny to me. Uh, that whole wedding is. was a, a joke anyway. Yeah. But we ain't going to talk about that. Because that will be a whole nother hour. <laughs> anyway, y'all, thank y'all for joining us today. We appreciate it for real, for real, y'all. This is make it, just make it, it's just really make good. it. It's real easy. I'm put the, I'm put the recipe at the front of this video. Y'all have been seen it by the time you even hear me saying this. So, um, ain't ain't a lot of details to do for real. You can buy salsa ready if you don't want to go that step. Just get you some bacon, some chorizo, some. Uh, some uh what else what else what else i put in there steak thin thinly sliced steak get you some bell peppers onions cook them down in a pan together and then put you some cheese on top if you want to be traditional it's ohaka cheese probably the best cheese to put on top but well, i just put quesadilla cheese and mozzarella in mm -hmm. bar, bar, this shit good i ain't even know this shit good uh -uh. I ain't nothing that mean. I was like, uh, I had seen it a couple times before, and then yes, it mentioned something about it, and then yeah, I started making some. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make some, make some fire. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all for joining us today. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, y'all. If you like this video, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think, guys. Remember, 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 share this video. I'll share it with everybody because sharing is caring. So care about us, care about us, y'all. We love you and we mean it. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to y'all. Y'all have a good week. Have a good bye bye. One. Peace.